Now sometimes we have to paint a clean edge or a straight line for something, so here's how we do that. Start thinking like an architect or a draftsman would. We get the painting off the easel and get it down flat where we can work on it. This way we can use a straight edge to create our edges. Make sure that the straight edge that you use is uh, lifted off the painting surface a little bit. There's a little thickness to this, so it's not sitting directly on the surface. Don't rely on drafting tape or painter's tape. Use the straight edge instead. Number three, make sure that your paint is the right consistency. It will flow for a while. And this is the most important thing. Actually rely on wiping off to create the final actual edge more than the painting itself. So in order to do that, if you have adjacent shapes on a painting, do certain things on certain days. Do the first shape, make sure you have a clean edge, that let that dry. And the adjacent shape that shares that edge, you can do that on another day, and you can wipe off without messing up your first color. So here's a couple tips on how we do that with an example of this painting that we're working on right here. One last thing though, some artists like to use what they call a mall stick to keep their hands steady. It's simply a wooden doll with normally kind of a pouch, maybe a leather pouch at the end, but you can just wrap some rubber bands around uh, a dowel rod and that will do the same thing. And normally you rest that on the edge of your easel or edge of your canvas and have your hand resting on the dowel to keep your hand steady but we can use these to draw straight lines or straight edges as well. Just run your brush along the edge of the dial. And remember the same thing is true if you want to wipe off with a little thinner of water, run that brush along the edge of the dial as well to clean up that edge.